This is your gut and me on vacation. You know, I travel a lot, sometimes for vacation, but most of the time for work. And when I meet plant paradoxers on the road, and I meet them all the time, they almost always ask me the same question. Dr. Gundry, how do you stick to the plant paradox plan on the road? It's hard enough when you're at home with your kitchen, but when you're traveling, how do you do it? It's true. Eating the plant paradox way can be extremely difficult on the road. But when you're out and about, it's especially important that you focus on keeping your gut healthy. In fact, did you know that when you travel to a new country, your gut microbiome actually changes? It's true. And that influx of new bugs is likely one of the reasons, along with some strange to you foods, that so many travelers suffer from tummy troubles especially in the beginning of their journeys. So, how can you protect your gut and mostly stay on the plan when you travel? Well, along with sticking to any supplement routine that works for you, there are a few amazing things you can actually try, and it starts before you leave. In fact, in my opinion, it should start when you buy your ticket. How? Well, the first step is make your gut bugs thrive. Because if they're happier before you leave, you've got a better chance of staying happy when you're on the road. And as you know, that's a great way to keep your digestion smooth, easy, and comfortable, your energy levels high, and even your immune system healthy. So as you start planning your next trip, make sure to start eating more prebiotic foods like leeks and onions, leafy greens, and Jerusalem artichokes and opt for a healthy dose of probiotics too, either in capsule form or in probiotic foods like sauerkraut and kimchi. It's a smart way to set yourself up for success so that once you're on the road, you're focused on maintaining your gut rather than healing it. But once you're on your trip, then what? Well, one of the things that makes my life easier is to start my day with a set breakfast and to eat the same thing each morning of the trip unless I skip breakfast entirely. Personally, I like to have a green salad with plenty of olive oil. It fills me up, it feeds my gut bugs, and is something I can find just about anywhere, any country, any city. And sure, they may look at you funny when you order a salad for breakfast, but chances are they've got what you need in the back. Plus, if you make a plant paradox-friendly breakfast part of your routine, you're setting a good tone for your day. Now, if you're really on the run, like in an airport or trying to catch an early meeting, remember, it's totally fine to skip breakfast. Or you can grab a black coffee and a handful of walnuts. They're also available, you know, most places. Now, along with starting my day right and keeping up with my healthy routines, I tend to plan my meals out way ahead of time. Now, this wasn't always possible, but thanks to the magic of the internet, these days, it's actually easy. What am I talking about? Well, you can actually read menus before you dine. That's right, by heading online and checking out restaurant menus, and heck, even hotel room service menus, you can really set yourself up for success. Personally, I always look for menus that are heavy on the leafy greens and wild-caught seafood, and light on fried, starchy, dairy-heavy foods, unless I'm in Southern Europe, where they use A2 milk. And just like with breakfast, when in doubt, you can almost always get a salad with olive oil and lemon juice. And a lot of the time, it's pretty easy to find a piece of grilled fish, too. So, rest assured, you've always got options. Which brings me to my next tip. Make your adventures plant paradox friendly. Sure, I'm talking about exploring new cities on foot. It's a great way to get a bit of exercise in them, but it goes beyond that. Personally, I love checking out the unique farmer's markets and food halls in new cities and building picnic lunches there. It's a great way to guarantee that I'm indulging in a little fruit, but it'll be in season. And it's easy to get to know more about the food you're buying because local artisans will actually be excited to tell you how their products were made. So you'll have a better sense of whether something was grass-fed, pasture-raised, or made with A2 a milk. It's also a great place to buy gifts for your loved ones. There's nothing like I appreciate more than a bottle of really nice olive oil, and I bring them to my friends. And last but not least, 
reset when you get home. No, I'm not talking about going back to your pre-trip habit, but going back to square one and restarting my three-day cleanse, or at least going back to phase one for a week or two. It's actually a great way to give your gut bugs the reset they and you probably need. And to remind your system that vacation mode is not the new normal. Oh, and one more thing. Whether you're traveling for work or for fun, make sure to take some time to relax, even if it's just a few minutes each day. You deserve it. I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you at home and on the road.